class, welcome back. I'm Matt Fisher, your accounting professor. In today's video, we're going to go over variances. And in particular, we're gonna go over the material variances. So now what is a variance? A variance is when we're calculating the difference between what we thought we should have used or the price that we thought it was gonna cost and what actually happens. We're looking at what we were budgeting versus basically what actually happened and see what the differences are. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the materials price variance and also materials quantity variance. So let's take a look at the price variance first. So I'm gonna put on the board materials price variance, MPV, which is the actual quantity times the actual price. And we're gonna compare that since it's the price variance, we're gonna be changing our price. So we're gonna compare that to the actual quantity times the standard price. So what we actually uh, purchase times the actual price, actual purchase times the standard price. So for the materials price variance, we're looking at purchasing numbers, what we purchased. Let's assume that we're manufacturing jars of salsa and that we anticipate we're gonna need 1.1 pounds of tomatoes per jar of salsa and that we anticipate the price per pound of tomatoes is 49 cents. So those are our standards, 1.1 pounds per jar, 49 cents per pound for the tomatoes. Now, let's assume that we actually purchased 10,000 pounds of tomatoes and our actual price was 50 cents. Now, when we did all of our budgeting, Let's go over here, actual quantity was 10,000 pounds of tomatoes. When we did our budgeting, we used 49 cents because we thought that's what the price was gonna be. You gotta realize that prices of commodities change. So in this case, these tomatoes, they don't always stay at 49 cents, all right? We thought they were gonna be 49 cents or an average of 49 cents, but prices can go up and down. So during this time period that we're analyzing, that we're calculating the materials price variance, the price was actually 50 cents. So now we can multiply these out and compare them. So 10,000 times 50 cents is 5,000. 10,000 times 49 cents is 4,900. So now what you do is you take the difference between these two and you get a variance of 100. But we need to say, is this a good variance or a bad variance? But in accounting, we use the terms, is it favorable or unfavorable? So what you need to do is you need to take a look at this. The actual price was 50 cents and we budgeted, our standard was 49 cents. So the price was actually more, that's not good. So this then would be an unfavorable variance. So that's the materials price variance. Let's now take a look at the materials quantity variance, MQV. In this one, it's the quantity that's gonna change. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have actual quantity times the standard price, and we're gonna compare that to the standard quantity allowed times the standard price, okay? Now, the actual quantity, we have that we purchased 10,000. Now, actually, when you're doing this, this calculation, it's typically the actual quantity that we used, not purchased. So that's why, you know, even though this is the same here, um, I like to keep them separate because when you're doing the quantity variance, it's what you used. And when you're doing the price variance, it's what you purchased, all right? In our example, what most textbooks do for, for these, for the, the textbook examples, is they just say that what they used was the same as what they purchased. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that. So we're gonna say that we actually used 10,000 pounds and the standard price was 40 cents, 49 cents, sorry. And then over here, we can put in 49. Now, what is the standard quantity allowed? So how many jars of salsa did we actually manufacture? Well, we manufactured 9,000 
900 jars. 9,900 jars. Each one should have used, per our standards, 1.1 pounds. So 9,900 times 1.1 pounds gets us 10,890. Okay, that's what we need to put in here. So this is a little bit tricky. You just need to kind of memorize that, learn that. The standard quantity allowed is taking the actual number that we should have produced, or that we did produce, sorry, times the amount or the standard amount that we should have used in each jar in this example. Right, so that gets us our 10,000 So now we can multiply all these out. 10,000 times the 49 cents gets us 4,900. 10,890 times 49 cents gets us 5,000. 336. So now the difference between these is 436. But once again, remember, you need to tell the person is it favorable or unfavorable variance. So in this case here, let's take a look at this. Our actual quantity was 10,000 pounds of tomatoes. Our standard quantity was 10,890. So we thought we were going to use this much to manufacture 9,900 jars, but we actually only used 10,000 pounds. We thought we were going to use 10,890. We only used 10,000. So in this case, this is a favorable variance. So now let's take a look at these variances and figure out what do they actually mean? Well, in our example, we could say, well, it looks like we obviously used less. What, what are some reasons why we might have used less? Well, we could have used less because um, our employees did a good job or possibly uh, the, the tomatoes that we used were just a better quality tomato. You know, sometimes we cut the tomatoes up and we have to throw some of them away. Maybe these tomatoes were really good, so we just didn't need to use as many to manufacture this amount of jars, the 9,900 jars. So that could have caused a favorable variance. Well, if these are better quality tomatoes, what happens when something's better quality? Well, a lot of times the price might go up. So instead of paying 49 cents, we paid 50 cents and we got better quality tomatoes. But what happens is we have an unfavorable price variance. So that kind of makes sense, right? But we want to take a look and just make sure if that's truly what happens. So we look into the business and see what took place. But those are some reasons that might cause these unfavorable and favorable variances. All right, class, good luck in accounting. In the next video, we're going to go over labor variances. I hope to see you there.